couple of sort of admin issues. Uh, first of all, thanks very much to our hosts, uh, the Hallmark. Um, we've asked the heating to be turned up extra hot today and the oxygen to be removed from the room slowly. So it's, it's going to encourage people to speak quickly uh, and to get out. Essentially, what Aging 2.0 is all about is about assessing the, addressing the 50 plus innovation paradox. And I've talked about this in the past, but essentially there's this big disconnect between the amount of innovation required to cope with this, uh, the economic and social impact of an aging population around the world and the actual innovation that is there. Where are the startups? Where are the disruptive models? Where are the, where are the big interesting brands? And frankly, where's the investment as well? So we're really trying to create this effectively innovation platform, this connective tissue, this way for innovators to come together and start to essentially redress the balance that we're, that we're, uh, that we're seeing. So, uh, just a couple of uh, barriers to innovation that we've identified, and in the discussions, I'd be interested to get your perspectives as well. Um, talent, and I think that that is one of the things I'm most excited about. We're seeing more and more really great people um, come into the space who wouldn't necessarily be creating uh, their entrepreneurial passions and focusing their entrepreneurial passions on the 50 plus market. But now we're seeing more and more coming in. But so far, there hasn't been the big incentive, the big payoff is not sexy necessarily. Um, the consumer insights, it's quite hard for people to access information about the space in terms of the, uh, the kinds of uh, research um, to get done to be able to get people to provide insight and in ideas, you know, to do basically, hi, uh, uh, market testing has actually been quite difficult so far. Sort of marketing and trust, we put this together. We think trust is a big challenge here. There's people who are just not really sure what to spend money on. The 95% of the marketing dollars so far are spent on the under 50s. And it's just not, a, not the same level of brands that there are in this space. Sorry, am I, can you hear me? Shout if you can't hear me. Um, and then uh, only 8% of the bloggers are over, over the 50 plus market. So where are the, the social media um, folks that are gonna be there to accelerate and, uh, and, and create this influence that we see in, in other markets? Uh, and then the distribution network, that's one of the biggest things that we found is to trying to find how to get your products to market. We've got a lot of great startups and making interesting products, and you're gonna hear from some of them tonight. But it's actually quite then hard to figure out how do you get through the challenges of multiple fragmented distribution markets, lots of differences between the decision maker and the, the user um, for the products. Um, and then funding, we just haven't seen a lot of funding in the space. So a couple of the different types of challenges that we're working on uh, at Aging 2.0, and this is a slide that um, I think captures us essentially what we're talking about, which is a, a, a shift in mindset between aging 1.0 and aging 2.0 from a challenge to an opportunity to uh, from a healthcare only focus to a healthcare wellness and lifestyle focus. So it's a much sort of broader, upbeat. We want to really reframe this whole, this whole uh, issue and uh, essentially work with a lot of the players who are already really focused on the mission driven Pro place and sort of extend that to also really talking about mission driven and the for profit. Well, we've, we've been pretty busy in, in uh, the Aging 2.0 uh, world so far. We've had, we've had events in uh, New York, London, Chicago, and San Francisco, and we've got plans to spread our message globally in the next few months. Um, we just, uh, we've been invited to speak at an OECD conference in Japan in the middle of September. Um, and a bunch of these other events are coming through, for example, the M Health Summit in DC in, um, in the beginning of December has asked us to help put together a bunch of startups to go and present to the uh, M Health Summit, which is a really big deal if you're interested in the mobile health space. There's about 5,000 people all um, from the mobile side and the health side all sort of coming together at this big event uh, outside DC. The AARP is having a big event in New Orleans, uh, which I recommend anybody interested in startup Sort of culture and the 50 plus space to go to in mid-September and they're having a, a sort of startup competition there and then we're working uh, with what we've been asked by the consultant pharmacists of America and Age Tech California to put together startups to uh, come and essentially present to different business people and to try and really identify the innovators in the aging space so that's sort of essentially what we've we've essentially been trying to do create this a deal flow uh, when it comes to who's the interesting talented innovators who are doing interesting stuff uh, in this market. So hopefully that gives a bit of a sense of what we've been spending our time on and we're just getting started.